get it now. <laughs> it's the royal wedding. Oh. I didn't get it at first. I am a yo-yo. All right, what is your name? Teresa Dowd. Teresa, and you? Rachel Laveau. Okay, and how was the wedding? Because you attended it. How was it? It was lovely. <laughs> what a comeback. Yes. Very, very good. But as you can tell, there are British flags there. There's the coach, there's a horse, and, and the and the king and future king and queen of England. All right, very good, very good. Would you like to say anything else? Not really. <laughs> All right, thank you. Righty then. Thank you very much. Crabella, Crabella, come forward. We must see. Watch out. Watch out. We have a little. Crabella. And Prince Cloyne. All right. Alright, right, what's your name? Oh, I didn't like that. Come over here. Kylie, and you? Jordan. And you? Cassie. Okay, Cassie, you tell me what's going on here. Um, it's sort of um, supposed to be Cinderella and Prince Charming, but Sandcastle version. Oh, all right. Very good, very good. And, and this is, is this taking place under the ocean? It's taking place on the beach. On the beach. Very good. Crabella and Prince Cloyne. All right, very nice. All right, thank you very much. We'll go back in line there. And Dalmatians, where is our Dalmatian? Right there. Come up here. Come over here. You're going to talk. Well, thank you for pointing that out. Who would wear a hairpiece on a day like today? Nobody. Nobody. All right, what's your name? Anna. Anna, and you? Madison. Madison, and you? Mom. Mom. <laughs> Mom. All right, now you said you were going to talk, is that correct? Yeah. And how old are you? Six. And have you talked before? I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> All right, but now you're going to talk, so describe your float if you can. It's supposed to be Crabella DeVille. Aww. Alrighty then, that was a lot of talking, but you have cars here and you have a, a house, and so describe what, 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 what is there? Um, there's the bad guys who's trying to steal the puppies. Alright, and what is the dog house? Um, the, the little one. Alright, and then the other house? Um, Crabella de Villas. And what about the car? Crabella de Villas. And where did you get all the materials? I don't know, my mom got it. When did you start planning this? <laughs> she did. Did you disagree at all during the making of it? No. Yeah, well, all right. Is everything your idea and they just hung around? No, my mom made it. <laughs> and you, did, you just hung around? Yes. <laughs> all right, a truthful contestant. Very good, all right, let's have a big hand for our Dalmatian. My goodness, so many dogs. Very good. All right, Marky Mark, what do we do now? Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Thank you for, for coming back. We appreciate that very much. The, uh, I just want to explain to people what's on this uh, table here. Uh, over here is the beautiful blinking runway that Miss Crustacean, the winner, will crawl down. As we all sing, here it comes, Miss Crustacean. I hope you get your song sheets out, get ready, because it's going to happen just in a few minutes. Here is Miss Crustacean's throne. Uh, <laughs> and that was built for us at great expense. $15.75 by Ray Esterling of our office. Let's have a big hand for Ray in a throne he built. And here we have one of the great cups in all of America. You heard of the Stanley Cup. You heard of the cup of coffee. This is the <laughs> this is the coveted cucumber rind cup. Now, some nutritionists say that a cucumber is a year supply of food to a hermit crab. So not only do they get the cup to show to all of the crabs wherever they happen to live, and but they get the, a year supply of food. Now we have two of them. One is given to the commercial entry, and then we have the 
cucumber, the regular cucumber rind cup, which goes to the non-commercial entry, and which is the, the standard uh, cup. So there you have it, the gorgeous runway, the semi-gorgeous throne.